welcome back to my channel. My name is Ajoa. I'm from Ghana. And before anything else, I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your support. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're a returning subscriber, I say thank you so much. I feel blessed by your support and your presence. So a couple of videos ago, I introduced a fragrance by Ad Al Safaran called Saheb. And I'm here with a full detail because I've been able to wear it a little more. And this is my honest impression on it. This is Ad Al Zafaran. I think I've shown this before, and this is the box in which it comes. It comes in a, a classic Middle Eastern um, black and gold um, nice package. And this is the bottle with the rose gold juice with gold dents and then um, a, woody, a woody cup. That is how it is. It's quite nice. So I've been able to find out a little more about this fragrance. When I first introduced it, I couldn't find much, but... I've been able to find more about it. It is duping a niche fragrance called Otto Parisi Tironi. I'm not familiar with that fragrance and I don't know much about it. But this is what I know about. Ad Ad Zafaran's Saheb. So the notes in this include red rose, mint, vanilla, caramel, agarwood, and saffron. So on initial spray, it gives off this um, fresh minty patchouli earthy vibe that is how it really comes across it is not sharp it doesn't contain the you know the normal alcohol opening of most middle eastern fragrances this doesn't have that it is very pleasant at the opening it gives that fresh minty earthy um some herbs you know at the very opening that is what it gives me there's this minty lemongrass vibe to it i'm used to the the scent of lemongrass because normally sometimes in ghana when you get malaria you boil um lemongrass so i'm used to that smell so at the opening it gives that lemongrass minty freshness it's like a combination of that lemongrass with some lime but not the lime itself, um, like the lime peel or the leaves of the of the lime. That is the zestiness and the freshness it gives me at the opening, combined with that patchouli, earthy vibe. It also has this um, when it's when it rains and uh, when it rains and the sand, that smell of the sand, that earthiness, it has that kind of vibe. So just imagine that combination, the lemongrass with some lime, with some little sweetness, just a little sweetness. It's not so sweet. So the lemongrass with the earthiness, with some um, zest, with some lime, with a, a hint of patchouli. It is beautiful. It is a unisex fragrance, you know, it's um, marketed towards both men and women, but I feel it leans just a little on the masculine side, just a little, but women can also enjoy this fragrance because personally I've enjoyed it with a couple of ways that I have, ha I have had with this fragrance. I feel people 25 and above would would really appreciate this better than younger age. It is not a beast mode fragrance. It is versatile, but not beast mode. It is one that you can wear at any day for all occasions. I think it will suit better, you know, for work, um, daytime, but you can also rock it in the evening and it will be pleasant. It's got this herbal vibe to it, you know, I think because of the, um, the lime and the freshness, it's got this herbal, earthy patchouli vibe to it which is very nice the one thing i didn't really appreciate or i don't really appreciate about this fragrance is the longevity and the projection it is average it is not beast mode you know uh, i expected quite a lot from this but it is just uh, it gives me about four hours you know it it projects just the first hour and then it becomes quite a, a skin scent and it, it doesn't also you know um it is average so that is my disappointment in this fragrance it doesn't um, project that much people maybe people around you arm's length can smell you but it doesn't fill up a room and it lasts about four hours on my skin and after the first two three hours i have to sort of dig up to smell it so it, it is that is my only disappointment with this fragrance. But I feel for the price, you can always um, overspray or 
reapply. It's about it's within the twenty twenty five dollar ring. You can take a decant or the bottle itself, you know, with you and just reapply. And with that, it, you can get a better performance out of it. So that is my only downside when it comes to this fragrance. Other than that, it is a versatile unisex fragrance that can be worn by you know people twenty five and above, and for almost every occasion for work for gatherings for church any occasion it would perfectly suit you it is not a simple fragrance it is a little on the unique side because it is duping a niche fragrance so you get the uniqueness it doesn't have any middle eastern vibe to it it is purely um a western sort of vibe so if you enjoy the woodsy earthy patchouli fresh um tones you would really enjoy this and that is my honest impression of Sahel by Ad Azafaron. Will I recommend this fragrance? Definitely. I would 100% recommend this fragrance. It is versatile. It is um, affordable. You can use it for all occasions. So, and it's unisex. If you are looking for something that is affordable and versatile and for daily use, why not? So that's all I have on Sahel by Ad Azafaron. I'd like to say thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your support. You have no idea. It means so much to me. And I'm thankful that you, you always join me. I say thank you. Have a nice day. Take care of yourself. I will link the, the fragrance and where you can find it in places around Ghana in the description. Thank you. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.